Welcome back to all you gamers, nerds, as well as you fucking haters out there. I'm Doja Boy, the average gamer YouTube commentator. And it's been a minute since I was able to post up a video, but we are back and I'm here with some updated news and, uh, you know, some things that we could talk about here on, on, uh, on the channel. Um, you could definitely tell from uh, looking at the standpoint of my YouTube channel now, I have, uh, went through a couple of changes on changing out my heading. Um, um, also, uh, you saw the intro at the beginning of the video that uh, I actually custom designed that intro myself, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now with my header, um, I just want to give a, a small shout out to, um, you know, Disturbed Gaming. Um, she was one of the ones that uh, helped design the header for my uh, for my YouTube channel because I wanted to change it up a little bit more and do something different. Um, those who don't know who that is, uh, you can actually um, look down on my on my on my YouTube channel here and uh, go down my squad list of people who I fucks with or whatever. And uh, her name is uh, Disturbed Gaming. And this is her channel right here. And you can see uh, that she does a lot of videos on uh, Fortnite and a lot of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, yeah, she, she was one of the ones that um, definitely um, helped design the heading of my channel. So um, um, if so, um, definitely uh, check her YouTube channel. I'll make sure that you subscribe to her. That's a special shout out to her for um, help making a uh, custom thing to my, uh, my channel here. So yeah. Um, just to get down to the nitty gritty, yo, um, y'all know I was in my A for a little while, and um, I, uh, you know, as always, as well, you know, you got, I got a, a personal life I got to attend to at the same time. Um, but you know, enough about that. Let's get to the nitty gritty of what uh, we come here to talk about today. And um, somebody been wanting me to touch base on this topic, and uh, the the topic is is that. Uh, you know, we was looking at uh, uh, a little update status that they had on Fortnite, and it was a forum that they was discussing that um, that Fortnite was actually projected to do twelve billion dollars this year. So the question came about was like, how is Fortnite a free game, and actually uh, actually in a projection to making that twelve billion before uh, before the year is over with, and um. I could definitely give some insights on um, exactly on how they transition to be a big company like that. So now we're going to talk about Epic Gaming. Now Epic Gaming, um, if you don't know the history uh, of um, Epic Gaming, um, they was one of the co-founders and starting Unreal Tournament. So um, well, Unreal Tournament, you know how back in the days how big that game was on PC. So uh, of getting a fan base and the competition going they they know the directives of on uh projecting the game um trying to make it expand more to make it bigger so they, they know those uh those insights on making the game large now uh in, in my opinion um just to keep it factual fortnite has gotten to the point where uh, i remember when the game i first came out um it, it, it was not getting that that much energy received from uh the public perception because you know back in the days we had a lot of uh uh, Call of Duty, uh, a bunch of uh, FPSs. I was kind of like um, taking the competition, um, and at the same time, like um, I think it getting to a point to where like a lot of uh, DLCs came into the picture, and um, you know, like uh, these companies, these big companies, found ways of trying of expanding the business of getting these microtransactions. And uh, if you don't know what uh, about microtransactions, you know, it's it's always about ways of of getting extra money like just for like extra costumes a better gun and uh people find ways to make their gaming experience more better so um looking into that fortnite uh is i could tell they crushing the game by first they got the game for free that's what they're crushing the game at so um everything is obtainable even through uh playing fortnite on the free side so um you know a lot of people when they first um jump into Fortnite, they automatically go ahead and buy the season pass because it pretty much gives them um, that good substantial amount for V-Bucks to where uh, they can actually get buy everything that they want off the game and still have an enjoyable game where we don't have to purchase everything, just purchase what they want. Um, uh, they're killing the game because of the fact that their perception of microtransaction is not like how uh, Activision and all these big corporate companies of their microtransaction of if just trying to 
um, soak all the money they can from you and you know um, with Fortnite, even if you a person who don't have money like that this is where they they winning at because they allowing the public to still play this game for free and um if you are p uh, if you are pc if you are xbox if you are uh, um ps4 or now with the nintendo um switch you are you you're automatically able to play and the good thing about this game is they got it on all platforms or if it's mobile um they they have insights to where you can pretty much play this game on all platforms and and also cross play platforms if you are on pc um, with mobile and ps4 so like cross they they got cross compatibility of where you can play on uh, different platforms with your friends then on top of that the game is free and the microtransactions is not knocking you off the head the microtransactions is actually a uh, uh, well worth the price of uh, just getting anything that's custom towards uh, how you like to play the game so um, and then on top of that you gotta it's, it's real big with kids now so like uh, that's where they question the game at they, they tap into the minds of the kids instead of adults and when you got that projection of of getting little kids involved uh, in the, to playing the game is gonna it's gonna make your business way more bigger because now um, you're able to get a wide uh, our, our bigger broad risings of a, a public people to to, to join into one big community and I could definitely see that the company is going to be making that 12 billion dollars because right now they already projected already like four or five billion dollars off the off the game alone so um I don't know if microtransactions in the future is going to be like the 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 new wave of things like but I think everybody's getting to the point where they're just trying to find a game that's uh that's full and completed you know a lot of people start they hating a lot of people moving away from the directions of uh extra dlcs or you know a lot of games that they use microtransaction everybody wants a full game um they get to feel like they got their money's worth whenever they purchase the game so i think that's what fortnite is killing them at you know um it's just a little group discussion um i just want to know what y'all intakes is on it you know like um like i say fortnite is um a real big thing and then like uh you got real big streamers like uh like like ninja and all of them that that's actually promoting the game very well which was was brought in the public deception about the game now I, i've seen a lot of people who uh left fortnite from playing fortnite and now they're back playing it um it's it's one of those things where it's now that it's public now everybody wants to be part of the community so it's a good thing in a, in a sense, but at the same time, you know, you got a lot of band bandwagon jumpers now. You know, they leaving off PUBG, or um, now you got a lot of gaming companies that's actually looking into uh, making their game in uh, like in a battle royale style, like like how Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Four is supposed to be. So, um, I don't know if people's gonna be excited with the Call of Duty franchise. A franchise with Call of Duty has been like um, dying out. Um, for a while as well as um, any game that uses microtransactions now like Destiny or like a lot, a lot of those games are failing and they starting to realize like how big Fortnite is getting they try to find out the secret sauce on how uh, they are, are trying to find out the secret on how to keep their game relevant just as well as how Fortnite is doing well right now so we'll see how that goes like I say I can see how uh, Fortnite is actually to project that 12 billion dollars before the end of the year the game is that massive uh, you got a lot of people who's playing it online um, shit like I, I find myself like going onto the game for some times and then I, I find myself not playing it no more and then I'll be like oh I gotta get back going to it so um, it's, it's, it's very addictive and um, I can see why people are always back and forth for Fortnite so I could definitely um, tell you that they will project that 12 billion dollars just by the microtransaction of the season passes that the kids purchase um just let me know what y'all think about uh you know a fortnite and what y'all think is how it's going to be in the future do you think this game is going to be longevity i want to know leave your comments down there below if you think the game is going to fail in a couple of years leave your comments down there below but i definitely want to know um what y'all thoughts and intakes on how fortnite would be in the future but um you know um 
you know, I've been MIA, like I say, and we're going to try to make this channel um, get bigger. Um, I did a lot of uh, reconstruction on my channel, trying to make it uh, move in a different direction um, and trying to find ways to make the channel better. So um, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you, uh, you, uh, you can share this video with your friends, family, friends. Um, try to help my community base go. Also, don't forget um, that you can click on my YouTube channel here and uh, click on this little icon right here that you see and um, actually join my uh, community base. We right now is at 196 members and I'm trying to get that at least pushed at least by close to 400 members. Uh, we, we're, uh, we're getting there the more we, everybody putting in more videos and sharing their, um, their experience, their gaming experience, the bigger we can make that community base. But um, like again, I want to thank you guys and girls for watching and I'm Doja Boy for right now. I'm out. Peace.